Don't forget that we have duck donuts, fruit, and coffee in the Family Life Center every Sunday. You can come over and grab a donut before or after services or on your way to your Sunday school class. Just come on over and get one because they are delicious. Here at Courthouse Community United Methodist Church, we are very grateful to all those who have served or are serving in our military. And this year, in honor of Memorial Day, we're having a special service on Sunday, May 24th at 7.30 p.m. in the Family Life Center. We would love to have any active or retired service members serve as ushers or greeters, and would especially love to have representatives from each branch of the military to serve in our color guard. If you are interested, please contact the church office. This event is open to the community, so please, Invite your neighbors and plan to attend on May 24th at 7.30 p.m. As a part of our Memorial Day service, we would like to have a display of pictures of service people who are close to your heart. If you have a loved one who has served or is currently serving in the military, bring a picture of them in uniform and drop it off in the church office. Please make sure to mark the picture with your name so we can get it back to you. You can also include a little something about the person in the picture if you would like. Then, come to the service on May 24th, as we honor all those who have served. The Elizabeth River District is offering lay servant training on May 29th and 30th at Heritage United Methodist Church. There will be three classes offered, a basic class for those new to lay servant ministry, an evangelism class about Wesleyan evangelism, and a preaching class for beginning preachers. On Friday, May 29th, the classes run from 6.30 until 9.30 p.m. Then on Saturday, May 30th, they run from 8.30 until 4.30 p.m. If you are interested and would like more information, please contact the church office. If you are in need of additional prayer time this morning, our prayer room provides a quiet space for personal reflection. Prayer ministers are also available if you'd like someone to pray with you. We're planning a mission trip to Edenton, North Carolina for June 5th, 6th, and 7th to do cleanup and repairs from last year's tornadoes. There will be a planning and informational meeting on May 17th after the 1115 service. This is a great chance to go on a short mission trip, so come to the meeting and check it out. It may seem early to start thinking about Vacation Bible School, but it'll be here before you know it. This year's VBS will be held the last week of July, so if you have a child you want to bring or if you want to be a volunteer, make a note in your calendar and stay tuned for more information to come. Attention all high school seniors. If you are making plans for college and you would like a little help with your tuition, you should apply for the Drew Witcher Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the adult ministries in memory of Drew Witcher, the son of Marsha and Jim Witcher. Applicants must fill out the application and write an essay. The deadline for applications is May 31st. For more information, contact Chris Wozlick, Pastor Fred, or the church office. You know, Wednesday night dinners are great. Yes, they are. The food, the desserts, the pretty decorations, and everyone having such a good time. And the tablecloth washing. The what? The tablecloths. They have to be washed after every dinner. Well, yeah, but don't we have someone to do that? We do. You. Oh. We are in need of more volunteers to take the tablecloths home after dinner, wash and fold them, and then return them to church. With a few more volunteers, you only have to do it about every eight weeks. You can sign up using the tear-off panel or by contacting the church office. It's really easy. Says you. Have you ever tried to fold a round tablecloth? Uh, are you done? I'm done here. Our youth group will be participating in a summer mission trip with Carolina Cross Connection from July 11th to the 18th. This trip is for rising 9th graders through 12th graders and there are only 20 slots available and they are going very fast. You will need a $35 deposit to hold your spot, so talk to Juliet Hutchins, our youth leader, or anyone in the church office or on the website for more information. The youth mission trips are always life-changing events, so don't miss out. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you playing on your phone in church? I'm not. You are too, I saw you. No, I was checking in for the service using the new church app. See, now I don't have to fill out the tear-off panel and register my attendance. Oh, I want to try that, but what if I need help? 
you can check in with anybody in the church office or you can ask one of the teenagers because they know everything anyway. Oh, well, that's right. All right, then. Young man. It's really easy. Just download the church app and you can start signing up for events and registering your attendance right on your phone. Oh, I got it. It's working. I mean, how hard could it be? Hey. I'm done here. Ahoy, Patrick. Ahoy, matey. Do you know what's happening at youth this week? I do. Oh. Haley Jane, do you know what's happening at youth this week? Nope. Oh, okay, well, uh... Patrick. <laughs> Mon Capitan, shouldn't you be saying it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, this Sunday, tonight. Tonight. Yes. Tonight. We're gonna be doing a zombie and Jesus thing tonight. And zombie it's and really Jesus. cool. Okay. It's okay. really I'm cool. Notes. Super yeah, there cool. we go. Yeah. Got notes. And also it's so cool, Lee Jane. <laughs> and also later this summer, we're gonna be doing Carolina Cross Connection. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And we can find out more about that on our new website at Courthouse Community Student Ministries. Dot org. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also you don't necessarily have to worry about money the money issue if just don't make it an issue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, actually, yes? actually, uh -huh. actually uh -huh. there's a thirty-five dollar registration fee. Um, it, but it, it's nice of you to offer to pick up the tab for all of us. <laughs> right. Um, very sweet, Patrick. <laughs> Thank you. But there is a registration fee. I think what Patrick meant was, don't let cost stand in the way of you going out to be God's hands and feet in the world this summer. We're going to be doing fundraisers, and there are folks who are willing to sponsor you. So if you're interested, do sign up at our website, which is. Courthouse Community Student Ministries dot org. Hope to see you this summer. Have you heard about the event on May 31st? Not only will there be a church-wide brunch from 9 until 11, but then there will be many mission trips where you can take the love of courthouse out into the community. Now, what is a mini mission trip, you might ask? Well, here are just a few examples. How's this for a random act of kindness? You, some friends, and a bunch of quarters headed to Soap and Suds Laundromat to surprise patrons by paying for the laundry. Sounds like loads of good, clean fun to me. Ah, I'm done here. Maybe rather than cleaning up, you'd rather get dirty. If you're not afraid of a little dirt under your nails, then this is the trip for you. Join us at the new community garden near Sentara Princess Anne Hospital and let's play in the dirt and as an added incentive, the produce from the garden will help supply our own storehouse food pantry. Ooh. That's what the gloves are for. Or maybe you'd rather dig it in another way by helping a local homeowner who has water flowing into his home from the back porch every time it rains. This group will really get down and dirty, digging a dry well and diverting gutters to stop the flooding. That's how you keep things high and dry. And for all you animal lovers who are over the age of 16, bring some long pants and closed-toed shoes, then go spend some quality time at the SPCA, helping with whatever they need to have done. Look. This one followed me home. Can I keep it? As you can see, no matter how you like to serve, there will be an opportunity that is just right for you. Make sure to be here on the 31st and bring, bring a, a friend. friend. I used to feel like I owed God something, that I could do something to pay what I owed him. But this is a picture of a paid bill by Jesus. And that's what grace means to me in my life, that there's nothing that I can do to pay that bill, but that Jesus already paid it by his death on the cross. For me, grace is, um, it's like rain. It, it washes away everything that was there before. It makes me feel like there's a chance that I have a new beginning. Grace for me is like this picture. My life was broken and I didn't know where to go. I was trying to do things on my own, trying to fix things. And then when I accepted that gift of grace, um, it was like the pieces of my life and my heart got put together. And I discovered who I was, and I discovered that I am loved. To me, it's a happy family. And that's my picture of grace, because God took my family when it was completely broken, and I thought it couldn't be fixed. And He restored my marriage and my family, and with Him as the foundation of it all, so now it's strong. The grace has made me a people person. I have spent years as a, essentially a loner. 
uh, even in a crowd, I was essentially by myself. But Grace has given me an, an opportunity to be a part of a community. The whole Grace thing is amazing because you don't have to earn it because it's just love. God has given me a new heart from this darkness to this bright red that's pumping and beating and it's alive and it's amazing. Amazing Grace.